Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask Kanti. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Priyanka Bhardwaj and I run a matrimonial advisory called Marriage Broker Aunty. I'll leave the details to my website in the description box below. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about how to make a good matrimonial buy. Now, this has already been covered in my YouTube course Arrange Your Own Marriage. However, I'm repeating it for effect because I find that so often people don't know how to make a simple bio describing themselves accurately and conveying to people who are looking for partners as to what they are looking for in a partner so i thought i'll make this video so that even if like three people who watch this video decide to go and change their bio after this it's going to make my life so much easier because i assist people who are looking for partners by representing them on uh, various matrimonial websites so i find it extremely painful when people don't have a good bio to really understand who they are or what they're looking for so we'll keep it very simple a matrimonial bio must accurately convey who you are and what you're looking for and must instill some sort of trust in the person that is looking at your bio in terms of you being a genuine person how do you write a good matrimonial bio it's very simple the first part of the bio talks about who you are what job you're doing what your educational background is because this gives people some sort of insight into your values your culture as well as your lifestyle this is great in terms of setting up a context or a structure in people's head in terms of who you are that's a good place to start whereas that is not enough in conveying who you are as a person you can also talk about where you were born and raised if you lived in many different cities or countries you can write about that as well because that gives people an understanding of the culture that you have been brought up in and uh, it'll be very easy for somebody to resonate with that or not depending on what you share now uh, in addition to talking about where you work or what you do or where you were educated you also want to convey softer aspects of your personality like what is your personality like what is your nature like are you a friendly person are you an extrovert are you an introvert anything that will help people sort of place you in terms of the type of person you are is very useful you can also talk about things that you're interested in outside of work do you have any special passions or hobbies that are outside of your work that could make for an interesting conversation with the other person a lot of people nowadays look at not just the kind of job that you're doing but they are also very interested in interest that you have outside of work because that makes for an interesting conversation with a partner especially on the first few dates now once you've sort of accurately sort of conveyed who you are in let's say four or five lines at the most you want to add another one or two lines about what you are looking for in a relationship or what you're looking for in a partner or the type of relationship you want to build with a prospective partner because that helps people relate to to what you're offering or what you're looking for and reach out to you so you want to make sure that your bio is not longer than you know 5 6 lines and it has to be one paragraph that people can sort of look at within half a scroll of your profile because remember that people are looking at hundreds of profiles in a day nobody has the energy or the bandwidth to sort of read through several lines of description about yourself because it's really exhausting you have to sort of get in the minds of people who are looking at your profile and and convey information that uh is concise and also makes the point about who you are or what you're looking for very clearly now the other thing that i want to say is there are lots of other sort of fields or attributes that will be filled up by you that may or may not be important for you for example caste dietary preferences hobbies etc which may not be so important for you so there is no need to sort of iterate that in the bio again make sure that whatever you put in the bio is core uh, of who you are and what you're looking for and leave out the bits that are not so important and i also would like to add that it's important to write who you're looking for in the top in the bio section as well as in the section where you write about what you're looking for just because sometimes people don't scroll and look at what you're looking for and you will see that a lot of irrelevant people sort of contact you so in order to avoid that you want to make sure that you can be all the information that's important 
Also, if you have an important criteria, for example, some people say hor horoscope match is absolutely important or they say horoscope is something that I do not believe in at all. So you want to put such information because people are wired to sort of think around these aspects while on these platforms because at the end of the day, remember, this is a traditional arranged marriage market and people are so used to looking at information in a certain template that if you sort of miss out that template, uh, some bits might get lost in translation. So make sure you're very clear about what you're looking for or what you're not looking for. If um, you feel like you need some sort of a, a second opinion in terms of how your profile is, you want uh, me to sort of have a look at your profile, feel free to visit my website, book a session with me. Um, even if it's just a 15 minute consulting session, just to look over your dating bio or matrimonial bio, I'm happy to do that. Um, I'll leave a link to my website below so that you can book the service. Uh, good luck and uh, as always, happy spouse hunting. Mm -hmm.